got um, a bad tattoo. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I can see you've got quite a lot of tattoos all together, really. Yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. But um, this one's bad. It's, it's, yeah? It was a bet with my friend, and I was drunk when I got it done at the time. The worst part about it was I didn't even get paid for the bet. What? Oh, what? <laughs> no, the no chap payout? No payout, no. It was for £50, but the chap who uh, bet with me emigrated to Australia the day after. <laughs> <laughs> so how did the bet come around? Cos he just bet, he bet me that I wouldn't get it done. OK. And it was, it was like... Um, they thought that they said it was me, but it isn't me. So know? they were mocking yeah. you, really. Basically, yeah, mocking me. Mm. Okay. So surely, if if they said it was you, yeah. and it isn't you, yeah. the right thing to do is not get the tattoo. Oh, mm. that was good. <laughs> like that. Got yeah. 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 That's pretty blunt, though. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty clear. Like, if you didn't want people to think you was mad for the cock, yeah. that's probably the last thing I'd put on myself. Mm. I know, but like, it was everyone thought it was me. They thought I was gay. I know they, they thought I was mad for the cock, but I'm not. What, so you were just that, all getting drunk, and yeah, then yeah. they was like, yeah, you're mad for the cock. Yeah, <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> you was like, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm straight. Yeah. And to prove it, I'll go and get this tattooed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can help you. Um, I, I need a cover up of a tattoo I got like 16 years ago. Um, oh, wow. But now, being 33, I'm like, it's just cringe. <laughs> <laughs> so, what happened? I tried something for the first time, I got told it was really good, and I just thought, ever so proud. <laughs> and then wanted oh. to, yeah. So, you kind of like marked a moment? Yeah. This person told you that you was good at it, right? Yeah. Are you still good at it? Probably not like back then. <laughs> not like back then? Yeah, then I was like a wild, wild child. I think we need to see this, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We need to take a look. Cool. Hey? Ooh. It's X T A R. Mm. Bruv, what does that mean? It's X star, it means porn star. <laughs> Did you just feel really proud because it was your first ever go and someone was like, you're so good and it's only your first go? Yeah, like, I'd love to end up with him nine years, like... <laughs> <laughs> Come and take a seat here. Oh, thank you. No worries. Got, uh, an appointment with Patch. Right, yeah, that's me. Right. You, you all right? Not too bad, my man. Good, good. How can we help? Um, well, I've got a tattoo. Um, I got it years ago to piss my dad off, essentially. <laughs> so, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Do it yeah. work? Uh, yes. Um, I got that whole, I'm not mad at you, I'm just disappointed in you. Ooh. Yeah, that's um, the worst one. Yeah, and now I'm, I'm settled down, married with kids. Yeah. It doesn't look that great. Is this your first <laughs> one? Uh, no, that was my uh, third tattoo. Um, the first one he saw was like, why have you done this to yourself? And now uh, this one was just to, to kind of say, you didn't like that one, you're definitely not going to like this one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Brilliant. Didn't think I was that stupid, but kind of proved it. No. <laughs> I can't believe you got your own face tattooed on your leg. Well, he suggested it. I just run with the idea. <laughs> What's your name? My name's Donny. What can we do for you, Donna? Yeah, I went on a night out and I experienced something I've never experienced before. Ooh. I woke up in the morning shocked, <gasps> really shocked. Oh. Then I ended up having a tattoo about me situation, but no longer want the tattoo anymore. So you don't like the experience now? Not really, no. Oh, no. Do other people experience this thing ever? I bet they have, yeah. So we went uptown, had some drinks. I must have been talking to her, but I assumed it was a man. I went back her house and I woke up to a pair of tits in my face. Uh -huh. Really? Yeah. Must have my beer goggles on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get what you got a tattoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we had loads in common, so I ended up having, like, a relationship with her. Really? Yeah, for six months. Ah. Oh. And then she ended up leaving me. <gasps> I went down with my friends upset. Mm. He decided to get his tattoo gun out and thought that would be funny. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Sophie. So how can we help you, Sophie? Basically, I've just got a really shit tattoo mm -hmm. and I need you to fix it. <laughs> how did it happen? I did it to myself. Ooh, Basically, oh. you know, 
I was feeling pretty emo. So I sat in my bed one night, waiting for my parents to go to sleep, got a sewing needle from my mum's sewing kit and just, you know, gave it a go. <laughs> oh, my God, you did it to yourself? <laughs> Were you still at school at this point? Yeah, I was in year nine. Year nine? Oh, oh what, did I settle? No. Yeah, I was 14. 14? I don't know how I'm so not dead, emo. to be honest. Your mum must have gone nuts. Proper nuts. <laughs> <laughs> they saw it when I was on holiday. Oh, God. And I was like, oh, shit, what am I going to say? It's oh Sharpie, it's Sharpie. Yeah. And they were like, OK, go in the shower, we'll make sure it comes off. Oh. So I got in the shower, got one of them nail brushes, and I was like, OK, quick. <laughs> and it was, like, no. bleeding and stuff, you know? Oh, no! Um, obviously, it didn't come off. So now you've grown up a lot, how do you feel about it? Embarrassed. It's ugly. It doesn't match my current aesthetic. What can we do for you, bro? Um, went on a lad's holiday, got the standard kind of drunk tattoo. Really? Looking at getting uh, some help getting it gone. How did you end up with this? Um, basically, we drank a few beers. So me and my mate decided we want to get a tattoo. And, uh, yeah. So was they matching? Kind of, yeah. It, it was... Mine got a bit worse. Cos he... I kind of had to one-up him a bit. So... Yeah. It was like a competition you could get the shittest tattoo. Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> Did yeah. you win? I won, definitely, yeah. Hands Sweet. down. Undisputed. It's just a bit of a, a pain in the ass now, to be honest with you. So you, wanna, you just want to get covered so you ain't got to explain it no more, right? Pretty much, bang on, yeah. So my mate went into the tattoo shop first and said he wanted a turtle, and then I was like, that's a bit boring, so he said, fine, a turtle or a ball sack. <laughs> so basically, they said they'd take 50 minutes to draw it up. So went to the bar, I got drunk again and decided that I wanted one. Um, there was a parrot in there, so you know, I was like, yeah, parrot. I thought, you know what, I'll have a set of balls on mine as well, so we can be matching, you know, best mates for life and all that. <laughs> I thought, I'm going to ask someone else what, if they think I should put anything else on it. So the barmaid said, yeah, get an afro on it, so... That's how the tattoo came together? Yeah. Couple? Yes. yes. Yeah. Who's the naughty one? Yeah. What have you done wrong? Uh, well, I got a tattoo for my girlfriend. Oh, oh that's how nice. I'll let you be the judge. So what actually happened? Well, it was about two months into our relationship. It was like our first real argument. Can't even remember what it was about, something stupid probably. And then you disappeared for like half an hour. I decided to go up into my room. I was kind of, you know, when you sat there and you don't know what to do with yourself, you're a bit edgy, you know. And a tattoo machine was sat underneath my table. I got it out, set it all up, and instead of texting her, I tattooed it on my arm and sent her a picture of it. And that was stupid. It was. The next thing I know, I get a picture, and I was like, are you being serious? That better not be permanent. Since I didn't really then, know what to say. I was expecting her to either laugh or take the mick out of his, but she didn't, and didn't hear from her for three days. So you're here to redeem yourself today? I am, yes. Do you want to see it? Yeah. I'd, I'd love to, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is just not very nice, is it? No, no. it's not, no. Yeah, unfortunately. So you've got some serious making up to do. Yeah. 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 Well, I did that shortly afterwards, and I got another tattoo oh, to make up for it. I got a name. <laughs> <laughs> no, it says fuck oh, off, Lily. Lily. So basically, I've got some really close family in Spain, um, which I love to go and visit. Um, for a few years now, I've been getting a bit of ink done every time I go out there, just sort of to remind myself of the time and the, the fun that we've had. Yeah. Uh, and this one time decided that I had a bit of change in my pocket, so let's go and get a piece done. Uh, left the family at the bar, all happy and smiling, mm. and uh, walked into the tattoo shop and uh, spotted something in the book. Went back to see the family, and uh, let's just say the, uh, the reaction wasn't exactly what I was expecting, to say the oh, least. Yeah, they weren't no. too pleased. So what made you finally think, yeah, this is not for me? Um, it was when I became a dad. Um, I'm a dad to a six-year-old little girl called Megan, who I love and adore, you know, oh. she's the apple of my eye, so yeah, has to go. So this has been on you for how long? Nearly ten years, I would say, around oh. about ten years oh. now, oh. yeah. Well, I think we need to get a look at this, don't you? Yeah, let's, let's take go. a look. <gasps> Holy! Oh, mate! So what brings you here today, Gemma? I had a very bad tattoo. So bad that I won't go to the doctor's. You won't go to a doctor? No. What if there's something wrong with you? Uh, no, I, I won't go. Oh, wow. So this is, like, really embarrassing for you. Yeah. So if it's so bad, why did you get it done? I really fancy the tattooist. <laughs> <laughs> he used to go around to my friends, and although they weren't great tattoos, I'd have let him get away with anything. Wow. <laughs> so it was the passion that made you get it done? <laughs> 
No, I just wanted him. Simple. <laughs> did you get him? I did. You did. Yeah, it was, then, didn't it? Go, sister. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the worst reaction you've had from this tattoo? Uh, when I was having my son, I had a C-section, and the nurse tutted at me. I felt so disgusted. She tutted at you. Yeah. And what does SB? That's not the tattoo artist's initials, is it? No. What's That's it stand it. for? Suck balls. <laughs> <laughs> Se sexy bum. Sexy bum. Sexy oh. bum. Mm. Stroke my pussy. Sexy bum. Sexy bum. <laughs> Um, well, a few years ago, I decided to relocate to a place and I got a tattoo to celebrate the fact that I was going to move to this place oh. and I never actually got to even go there. Did you have all your bags packed? I couldn't take any bags. Couldn't take any bags? I'm no. like really confused now. <laughs> I was too. <laughs> I think we need to have a look where this is mm -hmm. and what it is. Are you sure you're ready for this? I don't know if I'm ready, but I want to see what it is. What? You thought you was moving to Mars? I was down to live on Mars and help colonise it. Wait, what? Why did you want to go? Well, my favourite colour's red. <laughs> right? How good would I have looked on that planet, you know? It'd match my lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> my nail varnish and anything else that I wore. I, I would have just looked so fabulous. But it's definitely not going to happen for me. And the tattoo's there, it's real, and I want rid of it. Yes, I need your help, please. Oh. Oh. I want my sex life back. Oh, Ooh, damn. Wow. That bad. Yes, oh. yes, yes, it's that bad. Golly, I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to say that. <laughs> Fucking awful bad. Okay. Oh. <laughs> How did this all start? A good friend of mine is a tattoo artist. Just popped in to sort of say hello, can I get a little bit of ink? I had an idea because I like stick men, so I wanted a stick man. He kind of started the tattoo and I could tell something was going a little bit off. So I had a look and it was funny at the same time as not funny, but I couldn't have a half-finished tattoo, so I agreed to let him carry on. And then it just kind of evolved from there to the wonderful, tragic, fucking masterpiece that it is today. <laughs> what other areas of life is this affecting? Mainly the sex life. OK. There are certain positions that we can't partake in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just very aware that it's there, and the only way I can throw it, when I'm on the flip side, uh -huh. it's, it can't be too nice for him. Oh. Yes, so. So you've so. got an inappropriate tattoo in an inappropriate place. Yeah. It's in your bum crack. <laughs> right up in there. Do you see how I need help now? Yeah. yeah. I can totally understand.